Karen Pavlik and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about lesson nine in the weather module and it's called experimenting with color and temperature. Now you see it's lesson nine so the children have some background before they do this lesson. They have become acquainted with thermometers, they have practiced reading a thermometer and for this lesson the question is posed to them, does color make a difference? And does color have any meaning when you go outside? Well, we ask the children to complete a chart and make a prediction of what they're thinking. The chart is in the manual, and the children are to respond to the chart. If they look at it, they need to pick would the black thermometer bag, the white thermometer bag, have the highest temperature, or will they be the same? And so the children with a post-it note will record what they believe is their prediction. Then they actually go outside with a sleeping bag or a little thermometer bag that they make with a partner. The instructions for making this bag are in this lesson on page 78 and it tells you step by step on how to construct the bags. Now some teachers will make a whole set for their class and keep it from year to year. But some teachers like to have the children make their own little sleeping bags. However you do it, the children need to go outside in pairs. One child would have a black thermometer bag, one child would have a white thermometer bag. And their thermometers fit right inside the little bag here. When they go outside, they're supposed to sit them in the same place, side by side. And as they sit there, you are to allow 10 minutes for the thermometers to register a temperature. When the temperature is registered, the children will read the temperature outside. So it's a great idea to have a post-it note on them so children could actually record the temperature outside. When they come inside, it might have changed a lot. So having that actual temperature outside is a great tip, having that recorded for them. So as they come back inside, they look at their temperatures and with the class, they talk about, was their prediction correct? And they post their actual results. For the notebook page, we use part of the black line master that says, the color of my thermometer bag is, and the temperature is. And the bottom, the children can use a sentence starter with a blank. They can either write it by themselves, or this can be generated with a computer. I predict blank to be a higher temperature. I found out that and whatever they find out. So they have their prediction and then this is their actual results. Once this lesson part is completed, an extension for this is providing the children with an opportunity to think about clothes that they would wear in the different types of temperature. You could actually bring in different types of clothing and in a basket and having a circle on the carpet or on a floor area in a center, have children sort according to the temperatures, whether they're warm, hot, cold. And as an extension to this lesson, the children can, in a T-chart, draw a picture of themselves wearing clothes on a hot day and a picture of themselves wearing clothes on a cool day. So they would have something to compare and talking about what they're wearing for hot days and what they're wearing for cold days. A sentence starter for them might be, I would wear a lighter color on a hot day because I would wear a cooler color on a warm day because. An extension for this lesson nine, it often comes up when children talk about black and white, their minds often go to different color t-shirts. And what about my red t-shirt or my blue t-shirt? So another part of this lesson might be to have a day where the children would bring in their favorite color t-shirt, take their thermometers outside and put it inside that color when you have them grouped, all the greens together, the blues together, the reds together. And then take that temperature again and see which colors vary. Children could draw conclusions from this experiment and talk about what they discovered. Which one do you think 
would be warmer to wear or cooler to wear. 